يا رسائل الشاب البريطاني ان يكون يعني بمكان الشاب العراقي يحس بمكانات معاناته اللي صارت اللي صارت بالبلاد مالتنا او يتصور صوره بلده صارت نفس ما صارت صوره بلدنا يعني شوف شوف بلدهم شلون يتدمر شلون شبابهم ما تتصافى بيناتهم How we in Britain experience war is very different from how people who actually live in war zones experience it. We can afford, if we choose to, to not pay too much attention to politicians when they say that we have to go to war. Many of those in the countries affected, such as Iraq, have no such choice. <laughs> وبالنسبه للمجتمع العراقي كثيره. هاي حرب دخلوا ارهابيين، هاي التفجيرات جاي تصير يوميه، احنا كشباب يعني نخاف نطلع. This is our privilege in Britain, but can we afford not to care? Can we accept that a war is necessary without going beyond the surface of what we are told? Back in July, we heard about Britain's decision to go to war in Iraq in 2003. So John Chilcott, who conducted the report, summarized. We have concluded that the UK chose to join the invasion of Iraq before the peaceful options for disarmament had been exhausted. Military action at that time was not a last resort. When lies and mistruths are promoted in the run-up to or during a war, how are we supposed to make an informed decision about whether something as terrible and brutal as war is justified? Across October, Newspeaks is launching our war series. In part one, we are exploring what Britain is doing in war today and how much we know about it. We're raising questions about the role of the war industry in the UK. And finally, we're investigating the broken promises made to some soldiers and veterans and the devastating impact this can have. For stories, articles, interviews and more, Check out the relaunched newspeaks.com and stay tuned over the coming months as we continue to report on why we go to war, what the realities of war are and how war affects each and every one of us.